much. Good to meet you. My name is Rose. Lovely to meet you. I'm from New Zealand. Are there any New Zealanders in the crowd tonight? Statistically unlikely. That's strange. Um, I love New Zealand. It's a very good place to live in. Uh, but unfortunately, the television in New Zealand is terrible because basically all we have are remakes of American television shows. And recently, we've just got the New Zealand version of The Bachelor. You guys are familiar, yes. What is the, the problem with that is that it does not work in New Zealand because New Zealand girls, you'll know this, sir, we're famously chilled out, laid back kind of gals, right? That is the last thing you want to see when you're watching a reality television show, right? If if I'm watching The Bachelor, I want to see some fucking crazy bitches on that show, right? I want to see interviews that go like, Hi, um, my name's Melissa, I'm 23 and I work in marketing, and um, in 2009 I accidentally killed a man in a hit and run, so uh, I guess you could call me spontaneous. Ah! <laughs> I'm out on bail! <laughs> or ones that go like, um, Hi, my name's Danielle, with a K. Um, <laughs> Get that right. And uh, this season of The Bachelor, I want to see him with his shirt off. <laughs> and his skin off. <laughs> I want to have sex with a skeleton. Am I at the right show? Right, look. It's very strange. It's good. I live in London now, though. I often go back to New Zealand for Christmas, which is very exciting. I, often, I do feel that my family are a bit worried about my mental well-being living up in London because uh, for this, this last Christmas, I received, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Four adult mindfulness colouring in books, okay? Four, clearly I, I look at risk at the moment, right? Because that is the perfect gift for family and friends to give you, which essentially just says, Rose, look, we know you're going through a tough time, yeah? Let's never talk about it, okay? Shoo, 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 bottle that shit up, bitch, all right? Keep it in there. But I was, very, um, I was very excited to go back for Christmas this year because I got put in charge of a very fun family tradition we have in our family, and that is that we make our own homemade Christmas crackers. You guys have those little Christmas, Christmas cracker things, right? We make our own homemade versions of these. Um, I was put in charge of it this year, but this year I decided to mix it up a little bit, mix it up, and so I, I decided to do is I decided to, you know the jokes that you get in Christmas crackers, the Christmas jokes? I decided to replace all of the punchlines to those jokes uh, with things that I've been meaning to get off my chest to my family. <laughs> for an entire year now. Um, so I do have some, do you want to hear some of them? Okay, yeah, okay, great. I don't have a pocket, so they're um, up in here. Thank you for the kind. Okay, so these are really um, classic ones. So just, if you do know the answers, please yell them out. So this first one is, um, what is Santa's favorite color? What is Santa's favorite color? Red? That's a good guess, wrong. Um, uh, what I've actually got written down here is, we all know you lost your job, Daniel. <laughs> it's a bit of a tense one there. Um, just chuck that down there for you there. Um, this next one is a, not really a Christmas related, but it's still fun. Why did the spider go to the ball? Why did the spider go to the ball? I don't know. It doesn't really make sense, does it? It's sort of like how Candace is here, even though she's not a blood relative, but it's a family only Christmas. And two years ago, I wasn't allowed to invite my boyfriend because we've only been together, but that just says ad lib. Um, uh, Candace is a bitch. <laughs> I'm a family there, thank you. Um, this next one's just a list of my top five greatest fears. <laughs> Number one, death. Crowd favorite. <laughs> Number two, breaking the rules. Number three, water slides. <laughs> Number four, breaking the rules on water slides. <laughs> and number five, dying as a result of breaking the rules on water slides. Let's do one more. Um, and you guys will know the answer to this one. This is a classic Christmas joke. Uh, what is the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? Anyone? Oh, yeah, that's a good guess. What I've actually wrong. Um, what I've got written down here is that uh, snow women get paid substantially less than snowmen um, in most industries. So, a bit of a political one there. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. I, um, before I do go, um, I, uh, I'd, like to do, I'd like to do some actual comedy. Um, I, um, I actually don't really do usually stand-up. I actually am mainly an impressionist. Um, that's actually how I make my, most of my money, my bread and butter, is impressions. So um, before I would go, I, I thought I'd just try out a few of my impressions on you guys. Is that all right? Um, so, yeah, thank you. So these are really iconic uh, pop culture references you'll get in a second. So, um, yeah, just sit back, relax, enjoy. So this first one is an impression of uh, Jill, the mother from Home Improvement. Jill, the mother, you get. You guys remember? Yeah, okay. Jill, the mother, I'm home from. Here we go. <clears throat> Tam, stop working on that hot rod. Dan is ready. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you. Um, no, 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 sorry, no, 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 because that, that, that usually goes a lot better in New Zealand because that show is still on television. Um, I, um, uh, no, no, uh, okay. So I'll bring it back, bring it back. Um, I'll, I'll do this. You know, Aaron, I'm going to do an impression of Aaron Brockovich. Aaron Brockovich, the Julia Roberts film, Aaron Brockovich. Yes, you know that? Okay, this is an impression of Aaron Brockovich from the film Aaron Brockovich. Here we go. <clears throat> Shuffling papers, shuffling papers. I'm a lawyer. I just work for one. Don't drink that water. It's poison. That was so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 uh, Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester Stallone, that's a good one. Um, this is an impression of Sylvester Stallone and he's at a restaurant and the waiter has brought him the wrong order. Okay, okay, let's cut that. <clears throat> hey, what is the with this? <laughs> okay, okay, I feel like we're building here. Um, okay, I'll do, I'll, I'll do one more and then I'll go. Um, thank you very much. And um, this one is very simply um, is, uh, an impression of a, of, a, of a cell phone vibrating on a table. Cell phone vibrating on a table. Here we go. That's the missed call text. Um, thank you very much. Goodbye.